Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. This is a follow-up to a previous video on uh, striped coloured patterns. I thought I'd do one with dots. Now I'll leave a link in the video description to this actual Inkscape document that already contains some coloured dot fills so you can uh, simply copy them and apply those styles to your own patterns if you wish. I'll show you how you can do that. I'll just zoom out. There are instructions up here but uh, Basically, if you want to operate in my document, you can uh, just move all this stuff off the document if you want and delete it even if, if that's uh, what you want to do. But before you do that, you probably want to copy some of those fills. So for example, let's just draw a circle or an ellipse, doesn't have to be a circle, something like that. If you want to apply, let's say, a uh, blue dot fill to it, there are a couple of ways you can do that. You can note the pattern number 4179 and with the select tool, just close this dialog under the uh, fill and stroke, here it is Control shift f to bring that up if you need to. Click the pattern fill and it's giving the black dots because that was the top of the list, 4054, but I want 4179, so the blue dots so I click on here and it's fine, it'll be in the top customised patterns here so 4179 is there click on it and there you have it. Now just while I've got that notice that if I resize this or squash it down it's actually squashed the dots down they're rescaling with the pattern that's because I've got this, this uh, icon on here I control Z I take that icon off and then squash it down. Looks like it's squashed but they bounce back to the size that they were so that's personal preference but when you scale in objects with uh, reasonably different patterns you might want to turn this icon off okay I'll delete that the other option if you've got an object uh, let's just do a polygon for example even a star would be okay something like that if you want to apply a fill again you can uh, note the number and go through the fill menu but say you wanted red dots you can click on this and go edit, uh, sorry click on it and just control C to copy then click on the destination Go edit, paste style, and it will paste that style of that object. That's a quick way to do it, but it also picks up the border from here. If you don't want to change your border, you'll have to change it back or uh, use the previous method. If you want to open up a new Inkscape document, for example, if I click the new document icon there and wait for it to load, here it is. Let's say we've created a, uh, I'll just do a freeform shape. Click, click click, click, click to close and if you go to the, uh, again I'll close down these menus till I find my uh, fill, if you cloud pattern fill there it puts in black stripes because if you look under here it's just only the stock patterns available and not my uh, customised ones so what you can do there is go back to the original document and Again, let's say we wanted green dots, click on that. Um, and we could go control C and then go back to this document, control V, and notice because it was filled with that pattern, that pattern's now available in here. So I can click on that, click the pattern, and the last one was that one. If it wasn't, you can find it in the top list here that's another way you can do it. You can still use the uh, paste style method as well. So there are some ways you can get some colour dot patterns that don't uh, normally exist in the, uh, the standard pattern fill menu. Hope that helps and as always thanks for watching.